Good morning, welcome to my laboratory. Somebody commented on the other uh, measurements stop, measurements fail videos that they thought that by changing the volts per division or the horizontal time base that the measurements would start working again. But that's uh, unfortunately incorrect. As you can see here, the measurements are stopped. They're not counting. Stuck at 2K349. And if I change the horizontal time base, it was at 500 nanoseconds per division. I'll just crank it all the way down to 5 nanoseconds per division. You can see that the measurements are still stopped. If I change if I select the channel one menu and change the volts per division, you can see that the measurements are still stopped. If I go to the math menu and turn the math operation off, the measurements are still stopped. Turn the math back on. Move the trigger. Measurements are still stopped to K349. If I go to the acquire menu, we're in, we're in average, eight averages, 30K memory depth. If I change the memory depth, still stopped. If I go, if I change the acquisition mode to normal, still stopped. If I now move the time base or the volts per division, measurements are still stopped. There's nothing that you can do that I have found that will get the measurements working again. Oh, if I go to measure um, oh, clear, all items delete, and then all items recover, that resets the count, but the measurements are still not working, so they come up all stars. Now if I change the volts per division or the horizontal time base, the measurements still don't start working. The only thing that can be done that I've discovered is to actually power cycle the scope, which I hate doing. It's wear and tear on all the components on the switches, on the relays, uh, you know, power surges, everything else. The equipment fails when you turn the power on and off, if it's going to fail. Hear those little relays clicking? There's no need. Now the measurements are working again. I've reported this to Rigol USA and they have started a bug report on it and they, they did uh, duplicate it on their scopes uh, in their laboratories so 
This is not something that's just peculiar to this scope and the other one that I've tested and the ones that the people on EEV blog forum have tested. It seems to happen to all scopes that are running the newest firmware update, uh, SP2. Thank you for watching.